Guess where? <laughs> oh, oh, the other arm. Okay. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> That's, that's, why that's what I was asking. I thought you were asking to make sure I wasn't like leaving them anywhere. Right no. Now. You know what? Its intensity may be more than some wish to be exposed to. And those people should be forewarned. Welcome to lovely Anderson Farms. It's a nice Monday morning. Um, we haven't had a nice morning in a while. Uh, been a lot of snow, um, a lot of mud, a lot of, a lot of weather that's keeping us from working. However, today is awesome. Um, even though we're going to be working in the new shop, it's great. But going to start a new. Um, New owner's life. So, welcome to Terror in the Corn. Tearing the Corn is in Erie, Colorado. It is a almost a mile long experience. And we've we've changed up, I would say almost 80% of the hunt. Not 80, but maybe 70%. Um, we did we did a lot of changes uh, in 2021. We did add-ons in 2022. Um, the biggest thing that I've, that I've seen this year uh, that needs to be improved is the corn part. And I said the misconception is, is that we're all corn. Actually, the haunt itself, I would say about one-sixth of it, maybe even less than that, is corn. So majority of it is haunted house. The biggest thing, we, again, the biggest thing we're wanting to do this year is uh the corn there's the haunt we have come up with all these different types of shacks um, each one is going to be a different theme and so that is our main uh focus um this year so of course the amount of improvements that we have to do inside the attraction too is insane we always put way too much on our plate always but Again, it's a mile long. We have so much that has to be done, has to be improved. You know, I don't have this professional camera crew. You know, can't have somebody following me around, which actually stinks because I suck at doing this. So, good luck. I hope I get a lot of good footage for you guys. And what's funny is, is that I haven't told the rest of the crew that I am filming yet. So, you might see some surprised faces this morning when the camera's stuck in their face. It's gonna be great. So I'm gonna see, Mike's coming right now. I wanna see if uh, he'll actually go into host mode. Hey buddy, good morning. Mm -hmm. Morning. <laughs> Is this a new camera? <laughs> As you can tell, we rehearsed this. This is the fourth time I've actually come through this door. So I, I, I say half and half, half and half. I, I knew he would kind of go into host mode. <laughs> Morning, dude. How's it going? What are we recording? Hard as I? Yeah. <laughs> I 
everybody. <laughs> hey, Geneva, do you know that we actually, look at, what is this? This is barely, like, not even the 1st of January, or 1st of uh, March. March. First of March. And we already have not only our 30 second radio ad, we have our 15 second radio ad. Wow. Both of them. Not even, not even the 1st of March yet. That's amazing. Isn't that nuts? That's amazing. You should take a listen. Does that give you enough to edit together? <laughs> <laughs> of, what's great is none of that looks staged. So, uh, here, I'll play it. Axel Raven's couch over a century of terror and darkness have been waiting for one thing. You to come inside. The dead shall rise. The living shall be their prey. And you will journey through terror in the car at Anderson Farms in Erie, the number one rated haunted attraction in Colorado. Tickets will sell out. Get yours now at terrorinthecorn.com. Evil never dies. Terrorinthecorn.com. Yes. What lurks in Raven's couch over... So that's the radio one. And then we got a 15 second one. Terror in the car at Anderson Farms in Erie, the number one rated haunted attraction in Colorado. Tickets will sell out. Get yours now at terrorinthecorn.com. Evil never dies. Terrorinthecorn.com. Terror in the. So, okay. So, we were telling Rochelle about it. It's like, look at this. It's not August. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm assuming the C is a comic. Well, it is DC Comics, but DC stands for Detective Comics. It Does it really? Detective Comics, and then they shorten it to DC. I don't know this shit. You're not going to be able to use this footage. I'll just cuss as much as possible. <laughs> when did you get that? <laughs> or have you had that? I've had it. Oh. Oh, well. I didn't. They're so weird, the cameras, because when you look at them, they're like actual eyesight. Bet you can actually get pictures of the mountains with those. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some door bars. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I forgot. It's been so long I forgot how this camera makes everything very awkward. Yeah. So, just to kind of give you guys everything we're working on right now. I gotta mess up your stuff, Dylan. Where's the... the we're making all... Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. So we're making the... Demetrius hut. It, it will go into the corn in this one and come out of the corn in the same one. So we're making identical ones. And... Dylan over here is making a new one. Who's making a doorway? Mm -hmm. Okay, but anyways, so... Basically, he's making the bottoms of them because we're going to be able to pick them up with the sky track. Now go from his little doorway thing, springs here to here's another one. But anyways, to that, to that. So we got, yesterday we got both of, both of Demetra's huts done. Um, they're going to be identical. Again, you're gonna go into, into uh, one of them as you enter the corn, and then you'll enter another one as you're exiting the corn. And then, I guess we're gonna start with 
this one here in just a minute, which we'll probably have that done here in about maybe an hour. So we got our, our first bundle of wood, which uh, there you go. However, the problem we're having now is, is that we have to go all the way up to Jim's shop to get the, the sky track. Uh, so we're going up to get the sky track. And what, what's the temperature right now? 23 degrees. It's 23 degrees. So I gotta drive the sky track down here and uh, yeah. So this is the uh, start of Demetra's shacks, hut, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're using the natural wood we got yesterday. Uh, called, I guess it's called slab wood. Slab wood. Yeah. Which is awesome because you get that, that, that's $50, the whole bundle. That's amazing. So we're going to start making a lot of stuff out of that. But we'll go horizontal here, but yeah, it's turning out good. We got, this is the pro shack here. Got that one. Here's the roof to it. Um, again, it's too tall for in here. So we're gonna have to build. Yeah. So, and then you got Dylan. Hi Dylan. Hi Bart. Are you done? I'm done with this one. You're done with that one? God dog. Yeah. Okay, Dylan's caught up back up to us. Oh, Dylan's got wow. two of them and he's got this one. We, we now have to move these up on the wall so he can move this one over and start on a new one. trying to film here. 